Hi everyone, welcome back. So recently I just uploaded a video about uh, my dermatology rotation and in that video I talked about um, secrets to clear skin. I'll link the video um, right here if you guys haven't watched that yet you can go watch that first. Um, in the comment section a lot of people were still wondering about different treatments for acne and the um, just like the different types of treatment and um, what the dermatologist said about those things. So I wanted to make this video to go further into depth about the things that I learned specifically for acne. And um, these things are taken straight from the slides from the American Academy of Dermatology. I'll link those slides down below. You can find them online. And if I went through anything too fast or if you didn't understand anything, those slides will go further into depth. And it's about 58 slides total. And it also talks about rosacea. So I'll, li I'll link that in the description box if you guys are interested. So the different treatments for acne depend on the type of acne you have, and it ranges from mild to moderate to severe cystic acne. Um, and usually, according to the Academy, American Academy of Dermatology, they want to start off slow and um, to see what works for you before they go on to more aggressive treatments. So the first line treatment usually is a topical tretinoin cream, um, also known as a vitamin A derivative. It causes your skin to turn over and this helps you get rid of any of the current blackheads or whiteheads that you may have and prevent you from getting new ones. They also recommend a face wash with benzoyl peroxide. The doctor that I was with recommended suggested that if you were to use that face wash, get something that is really, really low in percentage, like one or two percent benzoyl peroxide, instead of saying something like 10% benzoyl peroxide, because it's very drying on the face. Um, tretinoin is also very drying on the face, so he recommended sunblock and moisturizer, and avoid, actually try to avoid the sun, can it, cause it can cause your skin to burn. And if you guys didn't know, per, the main active ingredient in Proactive is actually benzoyl peroxide. And if you go on Amazon, you can find benzoyl peroxide for like $5 compared to buying Proactive, which is a lot more expensive. The next line of treatment is if you have more mild to moderate uh, acne, usually is an antibiotic cream, uh, either erythromycin or clindamycin and usually they tell you to wash your face also with the benzoyl peroxide like every other day or something like that so the acne doesn't become resistant so there's a specific bacteria on your face that actually causes you to get acne and these antibiotics are supposed to kill them washing your face also with the benzoyl peroxide can prevent resistance which means um, the acne bacteria growing resistant to the medication and the medication not working eventually. So they recommend that you do these treatments for months at a time and even a little longer after you see the full results. And the biggest mistake that people tend to make is that they see their skin improving and they see that their skin is clear so they stop all the creams and um, they stop all these preventative things and then the acne comes back and that's um, the one thing the dermatologist said, just stick to it for a little while longer because the imperfections in your skin are actually deep down and it's hard for you to see on the surface and if you don't treat the symptoms or treat the acne um, to the fullest extent, then it could come back. And then to treat moderate to severe acne, you move on to oral antibiotics. Um, some of the available ones to treat acne are tetracycline, doxycycline, and minocycline. And then if that doesn't work for severe acne, then they would move on to something called tretinoin, which is also known as Accutane. This is the strongest form of acne uh, treatment. I know my dermatologist did not like to recommend this medication much just because there's so many adverse effects. And if um, you can get a lot of bone pain, a lot of dryness, um, lots of GI upset, nausea, vomiting, um, it can affect your vision and cause depression, lots of different side effects for starting this medication. It's also not as safe for girls or females that are in the reproductive age because it's a tr 
it, the drug is considered teratogenic and that means that if you're pregnant and you're taking this medication then it can cause birth defects in your child. In my last video I talked about how there's the milia or mila milia where if you over exfoliate you have these little bumps on your skin and it's doesn't look like a blackhead and it doesn't look like a whitehead but it's like deep under your skin those are called milia and people are asking how would a, how would you get rid of that I actually had that all over my forehead at one time and I don't know what it was I was probably over exfoliating if I were to go to a dermatologist for that they would give me tretinoin and it would take about three months or something for my skin to actually clear up I, this is not a dermatologist recommendation, but I went to get a facial to get all the milia extracted. If you have one or two, the dermatologist actually offers extractions of those. But if you have a lot, then they would rather give you a medication to clear it. Um, so yeah, a lot of you are also asking about hyperpigmentation of when the ac your acne already goes away but your skin is still a little darker in that area. I get a, I get that a lot too. Um, I used to have like this big cyst right here and it would move back and forth and it would just Ooh, excuse me. And it would just leave like a snail trail of where it used to be and it was so annoying. Um, those things just take time to go away. There's also a cream that you can use. I know it's specifically for scarring, for hyperpigmentation. So I don't know if I would recommend it for the face. And I learned about it during my plastic surgery rotation. I don't have my notes with me, but I'll put it in the description box down below. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be back. I'll get the notes around um, next week or next Monday or something like whenever this video goes up. Hopefully it will be in the description box. But yeah, that's all I have. I'll link everything that I talked about in the description box down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Just click on the little box with my face on it and you can subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.